Hi, hello, I'm Yoche Jega from Sky E Academy and also the Academy YouTuber for the channel Chegu Jega. Okay, I'm the science teacher for the year two. I'm going to teach using the science digital textbook. If you are having your science textbook or any digital textbook, you can devise when I'm teaching. Okay, without wasting your time, let's go to the topic. In unit one, we are going to study about scientific skills. So let's see what are the scientific skills that you require to learn in this unit number one is observe which is observation how do we observe we are observing through five sensory organs in normal terms normally we use the word like observation refer to seeing only but according to science we can observe you using our five sensory organs okay so you look at here why we want to observe we want to gather information about the changes around us so how do we observe number one by seeing number two by smelling number three tasting number four touching and number five by listening so these process skills are known as observing so this is how we are making an observation after this we have to know about scientific skill number two which is classify classification okay how do we classify things first you have to observe then only you can classify what you are going to observe here here you can observe the number of legs and then the presence of wings whether the animal got wings or not okay so after that what you are going to do you are going to list down based on their characteristic characteristic after you list down the characteristic you can classify in this way okay you can classify see see this table see this chart okay so they classify based on this feature which is which is with wings and animals without wings okay so animals with wings what we can see is duck penguin eagle animals without wings we got goat tapir and also tiger so class we classify things by separating and grouping them according to their similarities and differences so to find similarities and differences you have to use the observation skill number three you have to know about measure and use numbers this is the scientific process skill number three okay so measure and use number how do we measure and use numbers okay you look at this part when he wants to measure the weight is using the right tool which is waving scale okay so waving scale is used to measure the weight so if you see in this activity Nurul and Kanang measure their body weight they measure it using the correct standard tool they are not simply waving okay so they apply the skill of measure measuring and using numbers as usual okay usually you will be having a ruler to measure the length of the book or to measure the length of the lines something like that okay so that is the right tool you to use to measure the length so we should know what are the tools that available for certain type of measurements okay so when you are using the right tools then we call it as a, we we, know, we call it as you are measuring and using numbers correctly in science next one the last scientific skill is communicate okay so before this we already see the seen the communicate part where when we classify the last part was a communicate when we already separate the animals into their groups we saw the chart the chart is a communication so now you look you look at this chart or this table duty roster everybody got see this in your school okay so if you see the duty roster will contain the days and also the duty the number of duty like sweep clean windows arrange desk clean whiteboard when the students are looking into this duty roster so they will get to know that when they are going to work and what work they have to do on the particular day 
so this is the communication the teacher will not come into the class and tell you okay monday you are going to do this tuesday you are going to do this and all that okay so she will just put this chart so that everybody knows that the, knows their job and the specific day okay so if you see writing and reading out information are parts of communication skills so the communication skills can also be in the form of pictures charts graphs and also models so if you see pictures so it's a kind of communication it shows that this is a fish okay the chart and then the graph the model okay so this will will give you information on specific data so that you will get more information easily compared to the one who come and talk a lot of things and so on okay so these are the this is what we call it communicate in science next one is we are going to learn about manipulative skills what we learned just now is the scientific skills now is manipulative skills what is manipulative skills teacher manipulative skills refer to the ability to use and handle science apparatus and substances correctly when carrying out scientific investigation okay so if you see if you go to your science room obviously you are going to see a lot of science apparatus and substances but you cannot play using the science apparatus and substances because some of them are chemical and some of them are poisonous so you are not allowed to simply play using these apparatus and substances and there is a right method to use specific apparatus for specific functions so let's see what are the manipulative skills number one use and handle science apparatus and substances correctly okay so for pouring liquid you cannot simply pour liquid so how do we pour liquid look at that that's a beaker that's a beaker and also a measuring cylinder so this is the way that you have to pour okay next one is handle specimens correctly and carefully so handling live specimen such as garden snail look at that but you better if you wear the glove okay wearing glove is very important while you are handling the live specimen so see see the right tools there what you have to do before during and also after so this is what they are telling about handling live specimen and then there is a other procedures when you want to handle with the some other animals okay so look at number three sketch specimens apparatus and science substances correctly okay how you are going to sketch because some of the science questions they, they require you to they will ask you to sketch the specimens and some other thing okay so in this case you are going to sketch hibiscus beaker and water how you are going to sketch look at the steps so this is the right steps you cannot simply draw by imagining okay you can do imagination and drawing but then th and draw but then when the apparatus are there this is how you have to follow number four clean science apparatus correctly so number four is washing a test tube look at how do they wash the test tube okay they pour the liquid substances into the sink after that they wash it using the the, the, the brush okay that's a specific brush to wash the test tube and then they place the test tube on into the the test tube holder okay sorry this is test tube rack next one number five store science apparatus and substances correctly and safely after number four you have to you are, you are going to dry the test tube right after they dried what you have to do you have to store them in their original place original place mean where do you take the place i mean the apparatus from so they already labeled nicely so you have to store it in the original place see storing a beaker so you have to store the beaker according to the right place and then storing a magnifying glass look at that you have to put it into the box and then you have to place the box into the right place this is how you have to store okay so 
what you what we have learned in this scientific skill look at here in this chapter this page I remember so this is like recalling what we have studying or what we have studied number one science process skills we studied about four science process skills which is observe classify measure and use numbers and also communicate and then we studied five manipulative skills which is use and handle science apparatus and substances correctly handle specimens correctly and carefully sketch specimens apparatus and science substances correctly number four clean science apparatus correctly number five store science apparatus and substances correctly and safely so that's all about this chapter see you in the next class bye <laughs>